Opening in theaters this week is the horror film Abigail, and here's my review. Five years ago, directors Matt Bettinelli Open and Tyler Gillette came out with the comedy Ready or Not, which made very good use of its single location to create a bloody affair. After directing a few entries in the Scream franchise, they have returned to that territory with Abigail. But even with those similarities, it does not feel like they are repeating themselves. With a game cast along for the ride, this becomes a highly entertaining horror movie with a lot of exciting plot turns as the characters deal with a child vampire. The setup is already an intriguing one as a young ballerina is kidnapped and those responsible have to watch her throughout the night. The screenplay manages to introduce them with ease and it does not take long to quickly get an idea of who they are and their individual personalities. One of the film's strengths is its sense of humor, and each actor has an understanding of what makes the character's specific work so amusing, although Melissa Barrera's Joey basically serves as the straight woman of the group. The funniest moments belong to Catherine Noon, who provides some great reactions to all the craziness that ensues. Meanwhile, Dan Stevens also shines in a performance that requires him to go over the top, but he never takes it too far. As the titular vampire girl, Alicia Weir, appears to be having a lot of fun in a role far removed from a breakout performance in Matilda. She successfully depicts the double-natured aspect of the character, and when she goes into full vampire mode, she revels at the opportunity to play this evil personality. Even scenes that require her to just smile have the needed creepiness factor, and she does well in showing how Abigail plays with these victims. While many of the trademark elements of vampires are familiar, one wonders how any new movie can add to them. Abigail finds some creative ways to play around with the mythologies, and some of the new ideas the filmmakers have come up with are quite inventive. It adds to the occasional surprise that pops up, as one is not sure what move Abigail will try next. They also incorporate her being a ballerina into the way she moves throughout the action scenes. Much like they did with Ready or Not, Bettinelli Open and Gillette filled the screen with gore, but in a ridiculous hammer horror style, fitting the comedic tone of the movie. The absurdity with the amount of blood that gets splattered across screen only adds to the dark humor throughout Abigail. This is one of those movies that hits upon an inspired premise and takes full advantage of it. With one fun sequence after another, the filmmakers know how to use the single location and the multitude of rooms in this mansion allows for all kinds of fun ways to have the characters deal with each new complication. Even when it seems like the movie might wear out its welcome, Abigail throws in another exciting turn or a great joke. The actors all work well with each other, and this becomes an extremely entertaining haunted house ride and an inventive variation on the vampire movie.